takes a few seconds. We should be good now. Should I start it? You want to start the podcast? I think we should start the podcast. Think start the podcast? Okay. Caroline? The Nintendo Shack is back. I'm going into it. I don't care if Caroline's ready, because I'm ready. It's podcast time. It's Nintendo Shack. I'm Jason Lacey. Donnie Reese is here. Greetings, Koopalings! I have all the energy. Caroline is here. And into name. It's here to name. Should I do my rhyme that I now do for my streams? It's ridiculous. Show yeah, us your stream it. rhyme. Spit some okay, so, fire. dudes! Welcome to the Dame's Ooh. Domain. The Nintendo Dame's here to entertain. I'm the girl that loves to game. Caro is my name. Ooh. Not Caro like the syrup. Caro as in Caroline. Outcast says I'm mighty fine. Neil Diamond says I'm sweet, but I think Nintendo can't be beat. Welcome to the shack! <laughs> that has to happen every week from now on. Yeah, every, every week. week. Yeah. Actually, we need you to record that as a bumper now. We need that as a bumper. We need that in bumper <laughs> form. So get creative, pick some music, and go ahead and get that down. Let's lay that down on some audio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, uh, I that's like it. what I'm doing. Welcome to the Nintendo Shack, a proud member of the PSVG Podcast Network and a member of the Make Us Better Podcast community. If you guys aren't on part of the Discord or actively follow us on Twitter, We've got news. We hit our Patreon goal. We have separate feeds coming to the PSG Podcast Network. So that means you will be able, if you choose, if you want to venture outside the casual, the nice and secure and warm and cozy realm of all of PSVG land, you can get Nintendo Shack all by itself. Oh, Mastermind master. Donnie, he's crafting it behind the scenes. He's migrating databases. He's twisted <laughs> RSS feeds. He's coding the mainframe. Nintendo Shack will have its own feed. Coming soon. Stay to stay tuned to social media to Discord. We'll let you know when it's when it's live and ready for you to type into your Podomatic feeds. But it's coming. It's coming. Yeah, no more master feeds unless unless you really want them, I guess. So it's I will a- I will probably just keep. I'll do all of them just because. Yeah. Hey, that helps. All the numbers help. Fam. <laughs> fam. I I'm I'm really really excited. This has been a long time coming. I'm. Shocked, shell shocked. Hey, shell shocked. See you in there. Hey, shell shocked. Uh, that it actually happened. Jason knows I was kind of f- fearful and terrified to even put Nobody the goal. Nobody likes up. us. They yeah, didn't I was do thinking, I was week. like, this is not going to happen. And then it happened in like the happen. best way. You know, what a great day. You know, we had like, it was just a cascade. We had like one person. And then Sean was like, guys, we're getting closer. And somebody's like, oh, yeah. And there's another person. And then another per- and then another person. And then all of a sudden, we're really close. And then another person. And another- it was fun. It was like watching the Wheel of Fortune. Like, <laughs> my phone was just blowing up. Sean tags, tags over and over and over again. And at one point, we were at 399. Oh, my God. And I believe Mark Carabin gets to be the lucky shout out as the guy who put in $1, guy. Bob. One dollar, and he got us to the thing with the one dollar <laughs> bid. <laughs> Bob, um, Callo showed up in the biggest way, though. Yeah, Callo. Uh, yeah, we're doing it. Um, we're investigating all the different ways to do it, and uh, eventually we settled on the way that everybody else does it. So we're doing the Squarespace thing, which means we're moving websites, which means I'm importing all the stuff. I'm updating all the things. We have to redo three hundred and seventy-eight podcast posts. We have to reload ah, all the MP3s bursting. and everything. So, uh, but Shaq will Here's go. Here's what you do. It'll be a great Friday night. Donnie will be in his bathrobe. He'll have some rum. He'll have his army of Chromebooks and <gasps> monitors, and he'll just be like Tch. army of Chromebooks. <laughs> I can go. I can go ahead and tell you this now. Just if anybody's like really excited about this news, like I am, um, the new site is already up. It's up at psvgradio.com because we're waiting on all of our domains to transfer. So that's just one of the many that we've had. And uh, Shaq up to episode 15 or so is done. And Woo! we'll just keep going. So I expect to be done by the end of the weekend. And then uh, I'll have to wait for the domains to finish and all that, though, before we can actually set up the feed. So just stay tuned. Yeah. Dude, do we have a domain for, like, Shaq Life? We don't have Shaq Life, but we do own Nintendo Shaq. We have a Nintendo Shaq. Oh, that's probably better. So One day we will own the Twitter handle. But all of the folks, Ribo, Chalfie, Shellshock, everybody, thank you for joining in the chat. I imagine a lot of you are here because we're giving away a video oh. game tonight. We have a, a video game, a video game that I just happened to stumble across. We'll talk yeah. about it. We'll just go ahead and yeah, go right we'll into what you've that. been playing. Debris Infinity. 
one of my new favorite games that I found on Switch. Definitely like my newest indie darling. How, how did you <laughs> find it? Was it through? I'll the... tell you. Here's exactly how I found it. Caroline wants to be in debt to no man. Sends me a code for a five dollar <laughs> Switch coupon. It's because oh, he, yes, for the Switch Online. For the Switch plan. Online. For yeah. the family yeah. plan. And I'm telling her, I'm like, you don't have to. Don't worry about it. She's like, nah, I'm, no, I'm paying my fair share. I'm fine. I'm paying so my she, $4.30 plus interest. So she sends, it, owe interest. she sends it over, and I'm. I, it sits in my Discord for literally like three or four days. I didn't even, I almost forgot about it. And I'm, I was going to text her, and I saw it, and I was like, you know what, that's that's right, I need to go look at it. So I just go and look at it, and I start scrolling through the tabs, like you do, you know, like you do. And mm-hmm. uh, I just stumbled across this this little tile art, Debris Infinity, and I was like, I don't know what that is, but it, guess what it was? Four ninety nine. I was like, it's the right price. So I click on it. The price is right, Bob. And One to night. hell if it's not just <laughs> Geometry Wars. I'm looking at a video of yeah. it, and it's just, ge- I'm like, I love Geometry Wars. How do I not know about this game? And um, so I instantly buy. I'm like, uh, you know, just throw throw it at the wind. And I download it and I start playing it. And to hell if it's not Geometry Wars. Now, when I said that on Twitter, the dev was like, well, we do some things differently. And he's he's not wrong. There's like some different power-ups and some cool stuff. But in yeah. all seriousness, guys, it's Geometry Wars. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, not, it, it's not a straight rip off it's heavily influenced very similar there yeah there are some hey, little tweaks but I, I haven't been able to play geometry wars in like five years so right. this is like and, and when we say geometry wars we're I not don't. talking like geometry wars 3 on ps4 where they tried to make it look like you know like everspace we're talking the good mm-hmm. geometry wars geometry wars retro evolved right. and it plays like it and it feels like it and it sounds like it and it looks like it and i'm having a blast and uh, uh, N64 Josh was playing it last week on nice. his, uh, on his thing on Friday where he Friday mornings he does the uh, first, first look looks. Friday. Yeah, so he was playing it last week and um yeah, I can definitely see why you like it. It's oh. one of your kind of games. <laughs> Arcade shooter, hop in and hop out, you know, like yeah. it's just a lot of fun. It looks smooth too. Like I mean all the yeah. stuff that's going it's on. It's got it's leaderboards, really got different modes. So I messed around with it for about, you know, 2 or 3 hours and I immediately I was like, I have to show this. So I immediately put up like a, I don't know, like an eight minute stream of me playing the first level. I was like, you guys mm-hmm. have to see this. And then I throw uh, a shout out to the developer. I throw a tweet. We get, the, you know, Shack Life. We get Shack Life tweeting. Other people start tweeting. Other people start retweeting. All of a sudden, we've got like a thread where like seven people have bought the game. They're all like, <laughs> I bought the game. I'm getting the game and I'm getting the game. So uh, I start the the developer and I have, uh, we start sharing uh, some Discord, um, you know, some, some, some DMs. And he's all yeah. like, you know, tell us what you think about the game. So that's here's here's our challenge, guys. If you're playing the game and you have any feedback, filters for the leaderboards, performance, modes, power ups you'd like to see, anything like that, he's totally open. He wants to hear it. He's like, let me have it and, and be as brutally honest oh, as you can. Oh, nice. So if you can throw that stuff at us or throw it at them, um, that'd be amazing. And then um, and, and we'll make sure we get it there. But he was like, is there that's anything awesome. I can do for you guys? And I was like, hey. Why don't you throw us a code and we'll give it away on Nintendo Shack this week? And he's like, I love this yeah. idea. So here's here's how the contest awesome. goes, guys. Somewhere in our OBS overlay, I have the code ready to go. Some point in this episode, I'm just going to click it up and it's going to start blinking on the thing. And when you see it, that's it. So... If I were you guys, I'd pull out that switch and I get that eShop open. I'm, I'm going to guarantee you're not going to wait to the end. It's not going to be an hour from now. I'm going to put it up here soon, and um, it's just going to be there, and you guys let us know if you get it. So, I mean, that's it. That's the best way I can think about making it fair because, you know, if you put it yeah. up on Twitter, the bots and stuff, you know, that stuff goes, like, super yeah. fast. It's not, not right. nearly as fun. So uh, we wanted to give it away live on the show, so that's what we're going to do. And uh, when I put it up, it'll be randomly. I will just interrupt people, and I will let everybody know. But to carry on with what I've been playing, not only have I been enjoying the Debris Infinity, and I'm not uh, apparently nearly as good as Jason. Jason got all the way into the top ten. I've been crushed back out. I can bumped. I've been bumped out again. Why I'm am I not surprised though? So. I've been hovering in the, the top twenty. Jason only and I were having that uh, only in the top twenty. Go worldwide. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> I got into the uh, the nineties, but I haven't played it much, honestly, since yeah. the first day. Yeah. I haven't had seventh, a whole lot of games. Seventh time. is my best. Nice. And I just can't. I haven't come close to get. I think I've cracked top fifty today. I was playing, and uh, cracked top fifty is my best. And That's insane. 
Ribo says I'm out of sync. You guys hear me out of sync? No. Uh, your video was your video was out of sync, but I think you look a little better now. Okay. Let me know. Yeah, it, yeah, it's better now. It was out of sync a little bit before. I'm not showing any drop frames or everything. I'm all green over here, so everything looks good on my end. Um, we played the Tecmo. I just I demolished Kev. The Tecmo tournament continues. <laughs> I'm awaiting for Calo and uh, the winner of the Calo Nintendo Dad Justin Masson uh, match, and then I get to round two. Has any of our other round twos gone yet, or are they all waiting uh, on me? We're all, we're all waiting. Like, Daniel and I could play. Um, I think you guys I, should I'm go ahead, we, but... I think, we'll pro- I think we probably will yeah. this weekend. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think uh, we've got uh, Callow and Masson are playing t- tomorrow, tonight. They're playing tonight, and then I think Kyle and his opponent are playing tomorrow night, and that should round, finish up round one. Shellshock asks if we'll challenge Nintendo Guru. The challenge was I, made. We I went... I played Guru today. We went to Guru's domain and we said, you got to get in this. And then, you know, here's the thing. Guru's all like, I'm the best Tecmo player ever. And then there comes a time to enter a Tecmo tournament. And for some odd reason, 16 other people got in just fine. They, they figured it out. But but he's 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 clamoring. You know, he's at, he's saying recount. He's like, it's, it just screwed me out of the thing. I did it and it didn't work. I'm like... Pretty sure that's not how it happened. That's not how it happened, Guru. Let's let's be let's be real. Um, Bobby and I played just before uh, we played tonight. We had two matches. Did we you split. beat him? We we drew. We nice. each we each won one, but it was fun. We had close close matches. It was really fun. Online been, for he, Tecmo. He's been the best opponent I've played. Online for Tecmo. I've watched him play. He's legit good. So I'm just I'm just talking. I'm just doing what I do to Bobby. I'm just. Busted bells. <laughs> listen, listen, chat, Shaq, chat. Here's the last thing the world guru needs is anybody else telling him how big headed he is. That's the last thing. Like I'm the last person that's ever going to do that. That's what he doesn't need. He needs somebody that uh, stokes the fire. He needs somebody that challenges him. You know, he needs a, he needs a rival. So um, I beat that Undertale, Caroline. You didn't really, really beat it. Though. See now, now this is the this is this is what I have to live through, Jason. Not only, like, I, I hear it from Dev when I beat Tomb Raider too fast. I hear it from Caroline when I beat the game she told us to beat, but I didn't beat it the right way. I can never win. Okay. It's like Ronnie Dangerfield over here. It's no respect, man. For, Come on. For people that don't know, for people <laughs> no, that don't know, there no, are 93 no, no. endings to Undertale. There are 93 endings. And do you, you have can... to get 93 of them to be right? If you do the correct sequence of events the first time through that you get that first ending, you don't have to start back from the beginning to do, do the true ending. It sets you back at one place and it's like, let's drop you back here and continue. And that's how you get your true ending, uh, your true pacifist ending. There's a huge chart that I'll have to link or something, but I, it shows I, the pathways I, I spared... that you take. I spared the last dude, I killed the flower, and I beat, I left Sans and Papyrus alone, but I beat the other person. That's so, what I did. try sparing no, everybody. No, 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 I'm sending the game to save. That's it. I'm done with the game. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm did done. you at least watch my playthrough? I haven't yet. I will, but okay, I haven't yet. Okay, well, I'm watch rebuilding, my ending playthrough. I'm rebuilding and... a website and all the, like, there's things to be I, done, but eventually I'll get there. <laughs> I got you. Um... <laughs> One game that I am really, really enjoying, though, and it's not that, you know what, before I, before I leave Undertale, it's not that I didn't enjoy it. I did enjoy it. There were times where I didn't really think I knew what I was doing, and I guess that's kind of the point of an adventure game. You figure it out. Um, the music's good. I'm, I agree with Kevin. This is an indie game that's good, but I think some of the reviews have gone maybe, maybe too far. Maybe, maybe the hype has gone too far. I don't think it's like one of the best games I've ever played. I don't think it's one of the best indie games I've played this year. I don't, I don't think it's like that for me, but I like the, um, uh, I like the battle mechanic. That was one thing he was like, Donnie's going to hate this. I actually liked it. It's kind of like Pokemon. I actually kind of wish there was like a little mini game in Pokemon. I thought it was pretty neat. I was like, I could see this coming to other games and that would be great. So I kind of digged it. I just feel like whatever. I, my opinion is <laughs> whatever, that, Dottie. You, whatever. You can't. You can't <laughs> fully, fully um, enjoy the game until you have explored. In my opinion, the true pacifist ending. Now, I've never been able to bring myself to do a genocide route ever, and I don't think I ever will. But I've seen it. Um, but when you told me you to sh- play pacifist, my my immediate reaction was kill everything. 
my immediate reaction was like, I should kill everything in this entire Some game. Some people just want to watch the world burn. But here's the problem. Yep. That takes longer. And I was like, I'm not doing that. It's just too much work. Yeah, try beating the game with 20, uh, no, 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 20 no, no. hit no, points. No, no, no. no, no. We're good. The entire time. It's okay. I mean, again, it's not bad. It's good. It's just, it's like, is it Shovel Knight good? No. Is it Hollow Knight good? Mm -mm. Not close. So, to me, it's not, it's not, it's not all that. Let's not get nuts with, with the Undertale love. It's fun. I, I will tell you this to, to give you my review, I guess, a little bit better. Um, I'm not happy I paid $30 for it. I mean, I think that's where it comes down to. I paid $30 for it and I was like, that's, that's pretty high. Uh, fourteen ninety nine for the digital. I, think I originally played. I originally paid ten on Steam. That for sounds it. about right. Yeah, that's that's better price. Thirties thirties high. But I'm sending it to Seth. Seth wants to play it, so I'm going to ship it off, and we're going to keep spreading the Undertale love. Um, the game that I want to talk about mm -hmm. most though is Torna. <laughs> Carol and I am playing Torna, and I freaking love it. It's so good. I haven't even beaten it yet. It's not sad. So good. I'm know, enjoying it really so much. Kind Isn't of, it sad though? Like you, you're playing it and you know everything that's gonna happen, and it's just depressing. Here's the funny thing: I still haven't watched the ending. I told you I was gonna watch the ending of that too, and I still haven't got there. Like I think I know, but I still don't know. I'm exactly me, where we left off the you, last time we talked about it. <laughs> you know, I know, like, like the I know fate the with high Jen and Laura, yeah, right? Yeah, I know that, okay. but I don't know like the ending of Xenoblade Two. I still haven't watched. But it's not gonna. It it won't affect you at this point. Okay, good. Um, all of the stuff that I really had to say about Xenoblade 2, even though I do love the game, I think it's one of the best games on Switch, it has an incredible story, but all of the issues that made me lead, that led me to not finish it, um, I feel so far in my playthrough, maybe three hours into Torna, I feel it's been corrected, almost instantly. Oh, wow. And uh, let's start off with visuals. Caroline was one of the first tweets she sent me, because she got to it two or three days before me. In front of the first tweet she sent at me, I think that, I think they improved the visuals. And I was like, there's no way. It's DLC. There's no way they improve visuals. It's got to be the exact same thing. I booted it up, and the sure of not if I didn't think the exact same thing. I was like, it looks a lot better. So, Caroline, I did some sleuthing. And I went and plugged some stuff into the Google machine. And what if I was to tell you that Torna is built on a completely separate engine than Xenoblade Chronicles 2? And to hell if they didn't improve all the visuals. They did. They redid all that stuff. Caroline frozen? I think I think she's frozen. <laughs> she's frozen. So let's see if she like, comes back. I was, like, I was like, she's really, she's really into this. So then, oh, <laughs> she's really into this. Uh, chat, like, let, let Carol know we we can't hear or see her. There she is. She's oh, back. There she is. She's back. Well, she flicked in. What happened to my internet? It's <laughs> pouring. Like, you were, by the you were way. like you're just like this. You're like, yeah. Man, she's really into Don. What Don is saying right now? She's no, really I was like, why is everything freezing? It's pouring. paraphrase what you were saying just before. It's pouring outside. Um, but what I was saying that was, I was doing some Googling and I discovered that Torna was built on a completely separate engine. That Monolith yes. Soft is actually working towards their new game. So they've yes. done a redo an engine and this new DLC has all this engine, all this environmental work that the first one didn't have. It looks a lot better. And I think that goes a long way for me because I'm playing on TV and I'm playing it docked. And I mean, it's just the fidelity is better. It looks like what you would expect it to look like. So I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying the new battle mechanic. I'm enjoying not having to manage 100 blades and figure out infinity charts and whatnot. I've got the characters. The See, characters like stay the same. Um, I like the ability to switch them in battle to recover HP and to keep. Do you have all the blades yet? I don't. Mm, you should uh, have one for each element. Yes. And then two fire because Lauren and Bridget. Yes. Does Adam have two? Yes. Were you not just excited when we, when he popped up? Brian and I are like, dude, oh my God. Yes, I don't go too far. It's, it's early, but yes. It's, oh, we were uh, so the, excited. The writing is funny, but the but the action is is really fun because because you can swap them on the fly in battle. The Because I know, he, uh, I see Lucas is here. The arts continue to charge even for the ones that are in reserve. So Correct. you can you can spend three arts on first one and pop out and hit the next three on the next one in, in succession. That's how it works with regular blades if you have three blades in the main game. Yeah. But um yeah, it's it's it yeah, it's how you get your, your if, arts faster. And they're they're doing faster, that because it feels more like I'm in control, like more like I'm doing more instead of watching. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Just so just long story short, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's funny. And there have been moments that I've laughed. I like the camp mechanic versus the ends. There were several times where I didn't even know where the ends were. I was just like, where is the end? I'm going through that ridiculous map from the first one. All of that is gone with the camp mechanic. I can just go to the camp. I like cooking. I think the cooking mini games and all that stuff is fun. Oh my gosh, Mithra's <laughs> gross cooking is the best thing. <laughs> so that is great. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm, I'm. So, so the question was asked in Discord, and I'll go ahead and bring it up now. Grouchy Surge said, "Should I start here? Or start with the second one?" And oh, I yeah. said, "I'll reserve it." Now, Caroline is a purist, and she's never going to say start with the first one. So I'm here to debate you. Because I say, start with Torna. It's easier. It's streamlined. It's simplified. It looks better. No, start no, 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 there. No, no, no. Start there. Start with no. Torna. Because then he's going to be like, "What am I doing?" Di- so I, I, you have to learn a different mechanic for a bigger part of the game, and it see, is here's, kind of. Here's the answer. He's never going to beat Xenoblade Two in the first place. Oh, so start <laughs> with Torna. That's a sad story. Um, <laughs> so I explained it to him like this. For people that are fans of Breaking Bad and the Breaking Bad universe, you will understand this completely. My husband has not seen Breaking Bad or Better Call Saul, but my husband is an attorney and he really wants to see like Better Call Saul. And he's like, I'll watch Better Call Saul, but I don't have any interest in watching Breaking Bad. And I was like, you have to watch Breaking exactly Bad. Exactly my wife did. She did Saul and not bad. Uh, why? You have to watch Breaking Bad you before to. you watch Better you Call Saul. To. So Caroline, she just, just has like this... This <laughs> you understand so much more, but you don't have having to. seen. There's just there's just Easter eggs and there's there's tie-ins that you wouldn't appreciate or understand. Things totally worth enjoying in the world without knowing everything about them. No, torn is better. It's just better. It's better. It's more fun. There's more things. It's simplified. It's faster. It's streamlined. It's, just, it's better. <laughs> As incredibly short as it is, I have not beaten it yet, but that's because I've been I heard it's very like busy. Twenty three hours. Mm, I've been a lot of eleven hours into it, and I don't I don't think I've got that much longer. So you have to, to do go. a lot of the community side quests to continue on the story. I think and I do all the be... side quests anyway. Okay. So yeah. never mind. Johnny that's Chat it. asked if they didn't like if Ribo asked if I didn't like two at all. Will Torna change my mind? No, not if you didn't like it at all. Like if you just hated everything you did, no, because it it is more Ribo. The mechanics are the same. They're just like better. It's hard to explain. All of the menus are all better. The map's better. Like it's all just better. It's faster. It's simplified. Um, it's just, it's straight. I remember the first, the first time I got Adam and brought them into my party. Like I, I just went to go look at them and it was like, do you want to upgrade the character? I was like, yeah. Oh God, where was that in the first one? <laughs> I just applied the stuff. So, I mean, I really, yeah, that stuff I really enjoyed. It's still handholdy. Uh, Lucas will still not like that. There are like 10 minute cutscenes. I mean, that's Xenoblade. That's just what Xenoblade is. But this I one, love it. It looks I love better. It. There are three hours of cutscenes in this one prequel. I mean, what is the, what? what is it? Is it 30 or 40 standalone? I don't even know ah. what to pay for it at this point. I just bought it. Oh, 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 the game. Yeah. Uh, 39.99. So 40 physical. 40 physical and was it the season pass is 20? If you already had Xenoblade 2. $29.99. So, I mean, I am think I'm I'm just a handful of hours in, maybe f- six, and I'm I am already like loving the money I spent. I think it's great. So it's a great Switch edition okay. this fall. It's not just like more fetch quests. It's not. It's Donnie, better. while we're talking about Xenoblade, do you have the pirate controller, the pro controller? I did, but I sold it. God dang it! I'm looking for one, and they're ninety dollars. Yeah, yes. and I sold mine for like hundred and twenty. You, you wouldn't have yes. wanted to buy it for me either. Dude, Jason, what the hell is wrong with you, man? What are you doing, reveling he's, in my he's, reveling he's, in my he's anger? The master, he's the master of the flip. I love it. I love it. See, I'm trying to find one off of people that are getting the new Smash Pro controller, and they're looking to sell it. And yeah, I sold mine because I didn't. I didn't need it. I got the the Xbox controller. So I mean, you sold stickers. Yeah, you made money off stickers. Sold, I, mean, sold stickers I love it. Man. Love it. So anyway, that's me, Caroline. What have you? What have you been playing? Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about Torna as I have been playing that as well, uh, and I won't talk about Undertale because I've played that as well, and I've already <laughs> played that game. So I think anything that I say will be a little bit, you know, just you know, you know my stance on it, and uh, I've played the Dude. game years ago. Dude, it's so good. Dude. Um. So. 
Uh, other than that, I've been playing more Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, thanks to several lovely members of our community and my streaming crew. Um, I got to G rank, which is like the highest you can achieve. You go from low rank to high rank to G rank. And uh, I achieved that yesterday, I believe. Yesterday or day before yesterday. Nice. Uh, so shout out to Benji for helping me with that. Like Benji's been the man and uh, Dale Link as well. And uh, Dusk. So um, I'm, in the, I'm in the elite now, I guess. Um, we get the really, really hard missions. And that's been fun. Uh, I've just kind of been fighting to get up that high and now uh i'm able to kind of mellow out and and play the game that i how i want to play it uh and so far as i like the costumes and i like the the gear sets more than anything else so those are called fashion hunters <laughs> apparently <laughs> that's like the thing that they call them so uh, uh the gears that i like uh, i'm making those sets so i'm like farming the monsters to get their parts to make those sets and i got this really cute set from a gameth that's very heavy and woolly because it's a big woolly mammoth that lives in the tundra and and it's just it swamps the character but it's precious absolutely adorable and then there's like some because it's capcom there's some uh shonen jump stuff there's some sailor moon stuff and i'm really interested in getting like my cat as luna with the sailor moon scepter that's gotta happen um but yeah i'm just still having fun with monster hunter it is a humongous game um oh snap are we interrupting or anything or no, it's just up there. It's no. just up there for people that in the live chat. Code so. is up, folks. Look at the, Run. Look at the code, dude. Run. You even made it, you even made it get the code. It. Cycling on them. They can't you, even you just gotta, You got to do it. You got to do it. Write it Dirty. down. <sighs> Please drink your Ovaltine. Get that decoder so. out. <laughs> <laughs> um, aside from Monster Hunter, today I had preloaded it. I started playing Dragalia Lost because it came out today. It came out. Um, and... It's one of those games where you summon the characters that are three, four, and five star, very similar to Fire Emblem Heroes. Uh, aside from that, though, uh, I'm it's it's pretty much a JRPG. Like, there's the random summons, and that sucks. You know, there's like a certain percentage and everything. And I think I've only gotten one five star. And the summons are not just characters. You've got characters, and then you can also summon cards that or affect, affect your playing style of your character or something, they like show up as tomes or something. And then on top of that, each of your characters can summon a dragon person that comes with them. So you can have, you have uh, the, the tome card thingies, the actual warriors, and then the dragons are all summonable. So if you're trying to just do one summon at a time, you might be SOL if you are just like, I'm looking for a warrior and you might just get like three cards instead. Yeah. Um, I've done a few single summons, but because they had all of this pre stuff, if you preloaded the game, if you pre-registered with your Nintendo account and um, they had your account information in there, you got X amount of currency early. And so I did a, a 10 summon and out of the 10 summon, um, I got maybe three characters, three dragons, and then maybe the rest were cards. So three, three, and four. So, um, I mean, I, I'm enjoying it so far. I haven't played it much, but it is just very much like, um, if anybody played Pokemon Rumble World, like where you're just going around and it is very much like pokemon quest you're just kind of going around you can set it to auto and, and just go around and oh fight wow stuff. i didn't expect that at all the boss yeah uh so those are the levels and you have energy so you um obviously that's their money that's their cash grab you um yeah. if you expend all of your energy uh then you have to wait to play again unless you pay for it so um, it's a mixture of the summoning from Fire Emblem Heroes and the Pokemon mm -hmm. Quest thing. So that's yeah. the biggest thing. And and I mean, like the dragon thing, especially with uh, there's dragon and like time looping stuff. So I'm getting like a very little awakening vibe here. <laughs> so, um, I, I, from what I've been playing, I mean, it's nice. Uh, just kind of like a time killer for an app. Yeah. I don't think I'll be sinking any money into it. 
I'm I'm actually I I started playing it today as well. I'm actually surprised how much I like it because usually anything chibi style doesn't. Yeah. Not that I just I hate it, that I hate it. It just usually doesn't doesn't strike me. I got gotcha. you. Reason with this, I was like, this looks like I like the I really like the art style. Like mm-hmm. I like the way the characters look. I mean, I think the game. It, I have an iPhone seven runs flawlessly on my phone. Yep. I think the game looks great. I think the music's fantastic, and I really like the control scheme. I really like the. You know, being able to just drag a little bit to control the movement. I like the tapping for the attacking. Right. Um, and then you get the whole dodge mechanic too. I think I've done just a handful of the first couple of chapters. I haven't. I forgot all about the summoning. First couple of chapters. Uh, oh, not chapters, but sort. Um, yeah, there's chapter, chapter one, and then there's. That like was the most subsection. excited she got in this whole thing. She's like, no, I'm just about to chapters? say, I'm like, dude, how long you been playing? Because I'm still on chapter one. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm on. I, I'm on chapter one still as well. But yeah. I'm really interested in trying the co-op side of it, with the multiplayer. I think that'll be. I think that'll yeah, be cool. And too. I see, <clears throat> just because there's more of a, a game here, I think I can see myself playing this a little more than any of the other uh, Nintendo mobile games that have been out thus far. So. It's surprising, I think. Um, did you have anything else that you need to cover, Carol? No. All right. Well, as for myself, um, I, I just mentioned uh, Dragalia Lost. So, that again, that just came out on uh, phones today. Apparently, we don't know. It's available now in what? Uh, I think U.S. In and Japan. J- but Japan, we don't know. I don't think it's, it's available coming. in Europe yet. Yeah, or Canada, apparently. Rabo informed us of that oh, today. So. Rip. Sorry, Rabo. Sorry again. <laughs> Gotta wait. Gotta wait. Uh, oddly enough, though, I think what I've been playing the most since we last talked has been Nintendo Switch Online. I've been just, I have had so much fun uh, connecting with Lucas, and we play Tech Mobile, we play ice hockey. I was just playing Tech Mobile with Bobby. Uh, we're doing the Tech Mobile tournament. I mean, I love, I love playing Tech Mobile, apparently. Yeah. It's just, I can't wait to get some more multiplayer games. I can't wait till we get like Double Dragon 2. It's more like, those fully, those are more fleshed out co-op experiences. It's been great. Like on uh, N64 Josh's podcast, they were talking about they're having this this league based around the online service. So I'm like, yep, sign me up. Let's go. Playing it. Let's do it. So I, I can't get enough of it. I love it. I know a lot of people were like had mixed on it, but I mean, for me, heck, the, the, the twenty dollars subscription alone would cover, I think, just the enjoyment I'm getting out of these NES games. Uh debris if, debris infinity. Donnie was just like, oh, you guys, it's you got to get it. Geometry Wars, you got to get it. And I was like, five bucks, huh? Ooh, yeah, I'm still here. probably going to do Got to do something with sure. those gold oh, coins, right? Look at it. I have, I have 503 gold coins. Perfect. Oop. Done. Free game. I, I wouldn't steer you in the wrong direction. Was through this. So. I'm so bad at those, you know, thinking quickly things, you know, like just moving and being able yeah. to avoid everything on that like you're great at that i've watched you play hollow knight i know that you're like boss at that kind of stuff but i'm just my hand-eye coordination sucks we had um it reminded me a lot of like how much fun we had because it was kind of just you and me jason we had a lot of fun with uh graceful explosion machine remember the switch yeah. launch we kept trying to tell everybody like you well, have to get this game it's let's super talk fun. about a key part i think the key part that this has which i think one thing i'd like to add to they said we could bring it to their um their attention to things that the devs we want to see change. They need to have a friends only leaderboard. Ooh. I, don't, I don't think they have that yet because that was Good like the one. biggest I thing about send... graceful, graceful explosion machine was Shack because you could stuff. see where your friends were and be like, Oh, Kyle has a higher score. Not today. Hey That's man, true. not today. <laughs> I'll put that in. Yeah. Now. And that, and that would just get that just normally I'd be done, but I'd be like, Nope, got to beat you. Got to take down Surge, for example. Happy birthday, Garchi Surge, by the way. But no, happy uh, birthday. Got to take it, you it, down. I like, for me, like, Geometry Wars is always the game that I'd, after I'd played a bunch of, like, more intense games or I'd played, you know, my, my NHL League games, I'd, it's the game that I always could just chill out and kind of shut off my brain a little bit because you can just sit there and some, there's, there's Those something... Those games get me frustrated. There's so, always been something calming for me about navigating through this mess of it's colors so funny. and yeah, music say, and it's just it's just like a it's zen for me a little bit it's so you know? funny because caroline you use the term frustrating and i couldn't like pick a different like i think to me i think games like this really draw me in um with the music and then I like, just, when, I get... when it's simple because yeah. then I, I like i know exactly what i'm doing so even like when it gets frantic it's all on me you know, like it's not like gaming it up. You know, well, like, see, that's just that's just it. Like when I get like that anxiety, I'm like, oh no! Like, and if I can't beat the level, I f- 
I'm flipping done. You know, I just, I, I rage quit. So yeah, it's uh, it's a good palate cleanser. That's how I like to I like to think of it. And then um, lastly, I, I finally on a whim I picked up Dead Cells last week, and I, I started playing through that. And it's it, it, I mean it's it's been out for a while. I, I think I, I'd agree with anything anybody else says. The combat is fun. It's a bit unforgiving at times. It's not. I don't think it's. Uh, I think it's more challenging than Hollow Knight because you get like this. There's, there's more of a progression here that I feel like in Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight. I feel like if your skill level is up to a certain level, you can you can get past things with this. Like if you're not like don't have the right gear and you haven't like your character hasn't progressed enough through the the, the pickups, you just get wrecked. Like I've got through the first boss and I made it a couple areas past the first boss and then I was just. I got demolished. I was like, okay, I've got three health potions now I can use. I got some longevity to my run. This is going to be all right. And within five minutes, like the first couple minutes on this new level, dead. I just got demolished <laughs> by the the character, by the, the enemies. But it's a really fun game. It looks great. I like the music. I like it's been a, it's a fun game to just do a run. And very much it has that same, like people say, just one more run. Got to do just one more run. Mm-hmm. And that's how you go through it. I, and I like the twist that we have in this from other roguelikes where it's, you have to do the per- when you finally finish the game. It's the perfect run in the sense that you've you know taken out all the bosses in one string. So it's uh it's been a fun game, but I, th- I don't know what else I can say more about that. And so that's what I've been playing, Donnie. We have some questions, a lot of questions from our, our from our listeners that we want to make sure we tackle tonight. Yeah, we've had so much news over the last three or four weeks. We haven't like we've been putting questions and what we've been playing off. Please understand. There he is. There it is. So our questions direct from you. Turkey, Trash Turkey asks, what is the best sports game? Coming off the heels of all of our Tecmo play, he wants to know, what do we think is the best sports game or games? Caroline, what are what are, your, what are the best sports games, Caroline? <laughs> oh my Caroline? god, Coach Hulk is trying to take over my brain. He says Madden. What am I supposed to do? No. Um, How do we answer this? Is this of all time? Of, of all time. All, all time. time. Favorite sports best game. Best sports game? Best. Best favorite? I don't know. Even, yeah. It's his best. Mario Golf 64 is my favorite. Okay. Good one. I hope we get to play that online one day. That'd be oh, great. Yes. Jason? Um, if I mean, in terms of time played, would be what was the last NHL I played? Probably NHL 16? NHL 15? I don't remember. Lucas, help me out. What was the last NHL I played? I don't remember. Um, gosh. I don't know what would be the best though. I mean, so it's a, it's a subjective term. Sure. Um, I gotta go. I guess I have to go with NHL 14 because I love the hockey experience. I think was great with using the you know your the control stick and to deke and pass and shoot was fun. I got to play goalie. Had to do the league plays. Did all the line and stuff. Yeah, NHL 14. I don't think I've ever played a sports game more than Mario Golf World Tour in 3DS. I've sunk countless hours into that thing over years. I mean, so that one's hard to beat. Tony Hawk was always a really, really fun favorite of mine for Ooh. years. It's just I just thought SSX tricky. Like that Ooh. snowboarding yeah. game was like the epitome for me. Tony Hawk was my runner up. Like listening to yeah. music and just like messing around with stuff. Yes, that's how was. SSX was for yeah. me. Yeah, that 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 little thing is good. You just you just put Superman by Goldfinger on repeat, didn't you? All the <laughs> All the N64 wrestling games. Oh, yes. NCAA there was a football, football game. game. There was a football game. I forgot about this one that I played on the Genesis that I loved. This was kind of like in the arcade, I believe, first. It was called Super High Impact. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you play it? Of this yeah. Game. Oh, man. I'm going to look this that up. That was my jam when I was like three, four, maybe up through like six. <laughs> I don't know. But that was how I learned the game of football, you know? Speaking of jam, uh, NBA oh, jam. Jam? Yeah. Dude, NBA jam was like next that level. Was great. Yeah, yeah, NBA was. jam was huge. It still is. Like, I'm the it only it, reason I'm even no looking NBA forward to playgrounds. playgrounds. The only reason I'm even looking forward to playgrounds is scratching just any any inch of that would be great. Yeah. So, yeah. Lots, lots. There's so many good ones. Tecmo Super Bowl with all the cutscenes with Joe Montana and stuff like that. I stuff. Want, gosh, is so if we get, Super, good. I hope we get Super Bowl. I don't think they've ever we released Super Bowl. Super Bowl on on. I think there's licensing issues. They've never released that for Virtual Console ever. I don't that I believe. Uh, Who knows? EA ruins everything. 
WWE WrestleMania where the Undertaker would, like shoot ghouls at people and don't could electrocute folks. That was fun. Golden Tee. Have you guys ever played Golden Tee? Like legit no. Golden Tee arcade? I don't ever play Golden Tee. Golden Tee is a... Oh, I know what the game is. Golden Tee is so play. much people fun. People go crazy for Golden Tee. Golden Tee is great. Golden Tee is amazing. Actually, I take that back. I think I have played it. Kaiju Guy wrote in our Discord like three weeks ago. I'm sorry, Kaiju Guy. Oh. Don't, don't blame us. Blame Nintendo Online. Uh, does anyone give a crap about playing Ark Survival portably when it hits the Switch? I am. No, it's a bad game. It may not be a good game, but I'm excited. Is this basically you surviving on Noah's Ark? No, there's like, it's like, there's dinosaurs and you have to build stuff and shoot things. And that's all I know about it. Didn't Lucas stream this one? I feel I like I know. watched Lucas Maybe. play this game and I was like, this looks awful. Well, <laughs> I guess I just, that answers the question. Does anybody? I nope. Like, no. I, I really kind of, I got over, like, I when we first started Flexibos, fun fact, our very first episode, we talked about emergent gameplay in games. And specifically, we talked about Rust because that's what we were into at the time. And that was the whole, you're just in this big world, you got to build stuff, take advantage of your other players, kill from them, loot from them, work together. There was a bunch of other games like that, and then I just kind of like I'm a, I'm kind of done with that whole survival scene of mm-hmm. gameplay. You know, it's just eh, it's just not for me. And I think a game like that, you really need you need people to play with because it's cutthroat. You know, every man gotcha. for himself out there. All right, Ashley wants to know: name one thing that you hate in life, and one thing that you hate in video games. Caroline, what's one thing that you hate in life, and one thing that you hate in video games? <laughs> I could say the, is it, does that have to be in video I games say and the in real really... life? No, no, they don't both have to be. Oh, they're separate. Those, those okay. Thing, yeah. <sighs> I could be really bad right now and just be like, I'm very cynical. Like, I just don't, I don't like and trust people, but I won't say that. Uh, one thing I hate in <laughs> real like life. society, everybody. <laughs> one thing I hate in real, in real life that is stemmed from the fact that there are too many people is traffic. I can't stand it. I can't, dude, I can't be in it for more than two minutes without screaming and cursing at the top of my lungs. I like, Brian is good about laying on the horn. I don't even do that. I just, you know, I just scream, mutter, yeah, everything, everything. And just see Carol Uh, behind the wheel. (laughs) Just off his face. (laughs) <laughs> yeah oh yeah office space that opening in ch- sequence just <laughs> story of my life on 285 dude just terrible um i don't understand why there's random slowdowns like why are we all breaking there's not even an accident on the side of the road why is everybody breaking and then we're just going again yeah doesn't make any sense uh and and games come back to me on that i'm thinking okay. about it you guys do your real lives. Jason, what do you hate in real life? Well, my dog pisses on the floor. Mm. <laughs> Dude, that's a good one. The other day I had woke up in the middle of the night with uh, some dog incidents that happened. And yeah, that's not a terrible way to wake up. You know up. how to go outside. You just were outside. And then, yeah. He like peed on my kid's books this yesterday. Oh. It's like... <sighs> I think it's a territory thing. You know, whatever damn dog things that i hate in real life i hate heat like mm. unnecessary amounts of heat i hate being hot um Sweating. just kind of whenever and and like it, it's a different very there's not like a temperature it's just whenever i feel hot i could feel hot at 76 degrees or 96 degrees but i'm just i just hate being hot like i hate just feeling hot it really bothers me i get really i get all kinds of pissy and, and just flustered and all that and I also hate, I think equally, I really hate, like, small talk with strangers. Yeah, that's which is, awkward. Which is weird because I don't mind, like, talking to strangers. Like, when I'm at, the, like, real strangers, like, complete strangers. When I'm at, like, the supermarket or something, I'm, like, super friendly, like, old open doors, ma'am, sir, how you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, that's fine. But I hate being at, like, like a work function and like somebody oh, trying to talk to you, you know, like that. I hate. I'm just like, yeah. you know, that's just... the introversion in us talking. I am yeah. the biggest introvert, you guys. I, Lucas I and I that. always got a kick when we used to go to Best Buy back in the day. When we lived together, and we walk around. We know what we need. We know, what we need. you always get the associate comes up. 
Oh, can I help you? Can I help you? Oh, that's no. a good one. That's a good one. No. I remember that at GameStop. I'm like, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm qualified to do your job. I'm pretty sure. I'm good. Carolyn, what do you hate in video games? Underwater sea creature levels. Oh, yeah, that's right. Underwater everything. Yeah, underwater everything. I don't... I mean, like, there are some things that I like, like the Super Mario Odyssey, like if that beach uh, kingdom or whatever it was, Mm -hmm. if we had that without the terrible eels, it would be perfect. Why would you why would you ruin that? I, I, we don't need underwater creepy sea creatures in video games. We don't. I don't even. I don't even like catching them in Animal Crossing. In Tomb Raider, I... you, in Tomb Raider, you swim and you fight eels that like wrap themselves all around you and you stab. No. Them and, you know, <laughs> super fun. No. Dream, dream level. Why? <laughs> it's super fun. Why? And then you have to hide so, from the like dude, schools of. Priyana. I don't even like like that deep sea crap that they introduced in New Leaf. You know. Oh yeah. Where you dive and like the biggest one is the giant isopod, right? And I'm looking at it, I'm like, what the hell is that? And then I I never seen one before. I Google it because of course these are all real life fish and people keep these monstrosities as pets. And I'm like, this is just disgusting and messed up. And why would anybody like like the ore fish that you catch in New Leaf? That thing is huge in real life and they only show up when there's been like a seismic wave because they're bottom feeders and they live like in the very depths of the guys, the ocean is a scary place and I don't go in the ocean. I really don't. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Jason, in video games, I hate boss rush modes. Oh, yeah. and I, I hate when I hate when good games just throw tons of bosses at you at the end. It always feels super cheap and super fluffy, and I'm like, why is this <laughs> like? Why am I having to do all of this all over again? That's one of the things that I hate. In video games, it's a real turnoff for me in video games when they're like, "Hey, remember this cool adventure that you've been on, and all these people that you took down to get to this point? Yeah, they're all back, and you I have am... to fight them all at the same time." And screw oh, this. Man. Put my controller down. Move to something else. Hey, here's a fun fact. I just got an Amazon order update. Metroid Prime is now had a new date of December thirty first, twenty nineteen. That was actually two days ago, behind the times. Um, the thing that I hate, I think it's a toss-up here. Number one, Splatoon 1 matchmaking at 10 o'clock at night. It's a bad matchmaking. When you had to play <laughs> against Team Japan, and you were just oh annihilated by Team Japan. You see over. all the symbols you come in, you're like, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> it's just like now when you do a, if you do like a group of Splatfest, and you see a bunch of clan tags, and you're just like, well, oh, no. I'm just going to go get yep. a drink. See you guys yep. in five minutes. We're done. Uh, and wow oh, oh gosh what was my now I forgot my second one. Oh no I guess that's it I guess I got a Splatoon 1 matchmaking <laughs> my second one was going to be like I, I want to say when you oh, don't fetch quests ooh fetch quests oh, oh, yeah, there's some fetch quests, fetch quests that when are they, really when fun they pad, when a game's length gets padded though like artificially padded yeah that's dumb but I mean too, like, like if, there's, if there's side quests I love that kind of stuff and some fetch quests are fun you know, like you have Some. trade sequences and stuff. Like when they get real elaborate and you have a lot of fun with them. I, I like that. Like stuff. the happy mass salesman. Yeah, it's good stuff. Um, I was gonna say I hate it when games like not not when they just don't have voice acting, but like when they don't have voice acting. I hate when the the text scrolls really like slowly when you have to wait to get oh, through yeah. it. Oh yeah, and no, you're like, like you're feature. like spamming the A button. Yeah, and it never it just doesn't fast. go forward. You have Okami to wait. Okami does you're that, like, dude. dude. Come on, dude. Okami, Okami has that for a few cutscenes, and it bothers me because I can't skip it. You're just like. I just want to. I want to press the button, have the whole text populate because I read faster than the 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 stuff will populate anyway. We're so yeah. we're so impatient. We just like problems. move along. <laughs> I read faster than that. God. <laughs> Serge, who is in his new beautiful home, my new house. What room is the best room to listen to sh- the shack? Which room is the it's best trick podcast for? Ooh, so. Do you have a uh, living room that like goes up the two floors and you have like that huge tray ceiling? 
great acoustics <laughs> about this I have those big, big high vaulted ceilings. Shut up, guys. No, no, no. High yeah, vaulted no. ceilings. Your internet kept freezing, and you were like You're this. freezing. You're just... <laughs> you just oh, shit. You're, you're back now. A but. pizza hut. A pizza hut. Kentucky <laughs> Fried Chicken and a pizza hut. Um, yeah, that's what I'm, do- I'm doing, the pizza hut thing. Uh. Um, so, yeah, you want something with really good acoustics. Uh, the high vaulted ceilings are, are, are a good thing. I wouldn't go in your closet and listen to us. I high mean, vaulted you're, ceilings. Like, I hope he put that on the list when he was... Yeah, right. It's a trick question. The real, the true answer is if it's Nintendo Shack, all of the above. All room supply. Ooh. All I was going to ask if he built a shack. Ooh. Like, go, go full on meta, huh? Could he listen to the Nintendo Shack? I think if he bought a new house, he's probably moving up. Hey, you need like a man shed. You got things to do. Like, it's nice to have a space. She shed, man shed. That's right. <laughs> Somebody burned down my she shed. <laughs> I thought of that same commercial. Um, the, the answer is, is my answer. You need a basement. I bought this entire house. I was sold on this house because of the basement. Like, the house is really not even that good. But the basement is fantastic. I have a thousand open square feet of man stuff. All of my games, all of my everything, my couches, it's all mm-hmm. here. I love it. So you need a basement, man. Basement. Uh, last question. This is uh, one close to the heart. Rebecca asks, how do you feel about the Telltale news? Especially now that all the Walking Dead games have finally made their way to Switch. So uh, Kevin and the gang have done a wonderful job covering all the news. So we won't. We'll just say that Telltale um, in in just overnight just shut everything down and nobody knew about it. Like what a mess it was. They just told all the employees that were working. They had hired people like 14 days ago. And they're like, like the week before. Yeah. So it's like, oh, everybody, everything's closed. You get no severance. That's it. Goodbye. Um, That's like literally they were like, we can write you a review on LinkedIn. So it's an absolute mess. This comes off the heels of the fact that for the first time, finally, like in the Nintendo space, finally, these Walking Dead games have finally hit the eShop. They're available. We got Walking Dead Season 1. We were getting Walking Dead the final season, but they've taken it down. So they released Episode 1 and 2, and then they took it down. You can no longer buy it. We don't know if it's ever going to be finished. It's all a huge mess. How do I feel about it? I All, all I can tell you is from personal experience, um... I asked for a refund from the game. I'm happy I was able to get my refund from the game. Uh, I don't mm-hmm. necessarily feel good supporting a company that threw their their uh, employees out like that. And, um, I mean, I'm not going to tell you not to play the games. The games are amazing. But um, if you felt compelled to not support that company because they weren't supporting their employees, I would understand you taking that path. Caroline? I, I like I'm not emotionally invested in it like you are. I've never played any of their games or anything. So I know you wanted me to play uh, Walking Dead like the the first first season or at least. Um, and I don't I don't mind still playing it. But yeah, if it if it's benefiting skeezes that like do this kind of business practice, it's it's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, I, I just don't really have a dog in the fight to be quite honest with you. I just. It, it's just there it's a developer that i haven't really played anything from jason anything else you know um i remember when i first heard about telltale and i was super excited because i always liked adventure games and some of their core employees back then came from lucas arts and they had some properties some games that i really enjoyed like they had the salmon max license so while they are kind of done with that series i i'm a little bummed that that who knows that's probably just going to languish out there and I, I was super excited for Walking Dead. I, I played um, season one, like rampage through that as soon as the episodes came out, and then it just kind of fell away. And that's kind of been my experience with Telltale. I kind of fell away from everything. I, I played Wolf Among Us, the one episode, and I, I just, I always thought, you know, I'm going to get back to Telltale, but I never did. And I thought maybe with the Switch, I'd get Batman, I'd get a lot of these things, and I just never did. Unfortunately, I, I of, think their sales I think numbers a lot of reflect people, that. <laughs> A lot of people yeah. just never did as well, and uh, it's it's a shame. I, it, first of all, it's terrible that so many people, you know, lost employment so quickly the way that they did. 
And it's a shame that all the work that these developers put into the voice actors, the writers, all these people did, they were never going to see that story. And there's so many people that enjoyed Clem's journey through The Walking Dead, and now we're never going to see... Well, we don't, we don't know. know. Now there's yeah. talks that maybe it's going to get released down the road somehow. We don't know. But we'll never see the, the ending to that, that story. We don't know if it's and the I same that, ending. We don't know if it's the same people. We have no idea. And then, like, the idea yeah. that they fired everybody but they could afford to finish it or yeah that's could what afford that's to finish what, it that's what other, makes me mad about other it. people or somebody was going to pay for it yeah. but they couldn't keep the employees like there's so many things that like i'm personally upset about it's like yeah. why didn't they try to sell like the company like why why yeah. why did they just close at what point do you get to where you just close well, i thought they were going to be yeah. like merging with somebody when they when they they're like oh we're getting rid of this many people and there's only a few people left. I was like, well, you guys are merging, right? No, we're just they're taking yeah, on all these projects. They they announce projects like even up to this year, they were announcing new projects. Like, at some point, why didn't you? At some point, you know, six months, a year. I would say even earlier than that. Yeah. At some point, it's you're like, like we're about like to run dry. Somebody had a bad night and they were drinking, and then they like the they next lost day, all the like, money in a poker game it. or something. <laughs> Screw it. Yeah. Yeah. Like seriously, that's how, how it's close? Uh, that's how it's coming out it's ridiculous Auto employees just close like all of that's all of that's ridiculous so anyway that's it from us or from you thank you so much for sending your questions over to the nintendo shack it means the world to us and uh, on, a, on a week like this it's, it's great to sit back and, and not yeah. be focused on the news so much yeah exactly on uh on the news block the only thing that we really had this week was nintendo's as as i thought they would they came out and they said we're not gonna delete your saves the moment you let your subscription lapse you have up to six months, which is what I expected. They're going to have some sort of time period there. That's yeah. I wasn't surprised at you all. Got to have a I, safety net. Yeah, that's what I kept saying. Like one, I don't think they're capable of doing it. To the instant that you're doing, I don't think I don't think they have like SQL queries running like that. Right. It's yeah. just too many. So uh, I, I just knew I was like, there's no way Nintendo can't do that. <laughs> but even outside of that, I, I just I knew that wouldn't be the case, and it's not. So all the flubbub that we talked about and all that, it's good to know. It would have been nice if they said that. In the beginning, yeah, that's typically well, the case. Well, it's been of nice Nintendo. they said a lot of things in the beginning. <laughs> it's typically so. the case of Nintendo. Yeah, it'd be nice if you answered questions first. We they just really, like to root for the underdog. You know, they really should do like <laughs> they they should really do like mock PR. You know, like the PR <laughs> should send it to like a couple reporters and be like, "What do you think?" And then they hit them with these questions and like, "Oh yeah, we should answer those." Yeah, you know, they do mock reviews. Like they should really do like some mock announcements. So. And that's it for the news. I don't have any other news outside of the Balzet nut, which yeah, I don't necessarily think yeah, we should address. Yeah, the Balzet is probably not appropriate for our, for our demographic here, but it's, that's a dark web journey you can go down. It's taking Japan by storm. Yeah, taking a lot of places by storm, that's for sure. And uh, with <laughs> Dragalia Lost was released today. You can play that. So I think uh, I think that's going to do it for the shack this week. It's fun what do you guys think? I'm feeling good about this episode. It was a good time. As always, we want to thank you guys for listening. We thank you for watching. Uh, we do stream live if you want to join us for a live show. We gave away game tonight, so sometimes there's some perks for showing up. It's over at Twitch, twitch.tv slash PSVG Thursday nights. You never know. I'm the wild card, so you never know. Is it going to be 8.30? Is it going to be 9.30? Is it going to be 10? You <laughs> never know. We do stream, so you can come check this out. Uh, and if you're interested, we do have the Patreon over at patreon.com slash better. Got us to these separate feeds. There's always some great things popping. And join us on Discord. It's a great community, a lot of awesome people. We'd love to have you there. And if you're really, if you're watching live right now and you're bored, my boy Lucas streaming some Resident Evil over at twitch.tv slash Fluxtapose. You should check that out. Woohoo! Nice. October's coming. The October's Halloween coming. Time is here. That's right. Guys, anything you want to plug before we go? You can find me on Twitter at Play Nintendo. Be on the lookout for the announcement of our new blog home and um, our new satellite feeds can't tell you how excited we are it's gonna be a long journey to get everybody going but i'm here to let you know that they're all coming so it's not just us board of video games psvg psxp which is kind of being retooled and redone We've got a lot of things Jimmy. happening you can find me on twitter twitch uh well really just twitter and twitch myspace I'm... angel fire <laughs> angel Carta. fire geocities.co um <laughs> oh my god I'm the Nintendo name pretty much everywhere. If I if there's a social media for it, I might have it. Uh, and I am people don't want to be the Nintendo name, so I took it. Um, streaming every 
weekday, 3.30 to 5.30 on Twitch. And uh, here on the Nintendo Shack every Thursday night, monthly on Arcade Academia, we have a new thing up for The Sims. So check that out. Do we know what the next game is, James? What's yes, we do. The Sims? It's a twofer. Uh, so mm-hmm. Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Ooh, and yeah. I can't Lucas remember the name, of, the name of the game off the top of my head. Um, but it was like... <sighs> It's it, it's it's some it's some Super Nintendo game I believe that that I I have the I have the thing for the download that it's it's a I, I've got to get the wrong because this game is like impossible so I've still got to play it but it's for Halloween cool oh sweet Very awesome yeah. well until then gang come back for more Nintendo Shack we'll see you next time Bye. goodnight Koopalings.